Hey there. I'm going to explain how Neural Sandbox works as quickly as I can. The core part of the game is a game where cells float around and eat each other when they overlap, as you can see happening in the background of this main menu. If you'd like to access this game, hit Enter Sandbox. Here you can watch these cells float around randomly and spawn more by tapping. You can also spawn different types of cells by using this menu down here and then tapping on the screen again. There's other stuff you can do such as clear and fill world which will fill the world with a bunch of different types of cells. As you can see, these black cells have a different and much more unpredictable behavior than anything else. That's because they're controlled by neural network AI. Of course, they die of old age eventually, as all cells do, unless you turn off the reproduction rate here. Anyways, if you'd like to train your own neural network to play the game rather than using the pre-trained one, go back and then go to the train a net menu. Here you get to customize the strategy slash personality of your network by moving these sliders around. And once you're satisfied, hit begin training. Now in the background, it's learning how to play the game with how good it is at the game being represented by this fitness up here on a scale of zero to one. It'll slowly learn how to play the game over many generations, and you can minimize the app or go somewhere else in the app while you wait, or just watch it if you wanted to do that. Anyways, once you're satisfied, usually you would want to let it train for much longer than this, you hit finish. Now the net has been loaded into the game. You can also save your net to your device and then load it later to be able to use it again or continue training it. Anyways, let's go into the sandbox again. And now when we hit clear and fill world, rather than spawning the black pre-trained neural network cells, it spawns the uh, gray customly trained ones. And you can see they have a noticeably different strategy than the black ones. These ones, as, since I put them to be more defensive with the slider, you can notice that they are noticeably more defensive. They're running away from nearby cells most of the time. That one just accidentally killed itself. Should probably let it train for longer. But anyways, you can see even with just a little bit of training, you can get some pretty cool behavior. Then you can, of course, spawn stuff for it to play with and do all sorts of other things. There are many other features in the app, which I'll save for another video. Anyways, thank you for watching, and thank you for playing.